Hi, welcome in. Thanks for joining me. I'm going to be doing a an energy read. After what I just saw, I put the link in my description below of the sun today. The sun, the the real sun. Um I'm in awe right now. I am just check it out. Do you have to if you're watching my video, please go to the description box below and click the link. It's in the comments to this woman's video. She captured the sun today. And they actually, um, our higher selves, higher beings came and um, they did, they had put some um, hieroglyphs crop circles, if you will, um, in different spots all over the world. And I believe one of the crop circles was us, Earth, with um, or the sun with planets all around it. Like there was like, um, it was the sun and then a planet here, a planet here, a planet here, and a planet. That's significant. That's a sign. That's a significant. And it's five, which is change. They opened up a portal today. They, I don't know how they used maybe CERN, I'm not sure, but a gateway, a portal was opened. No doubt in my mind, or my soul. More, more importantly, my soul. So I am going to pull like a frequency. I'm doing a reading pulled right off of what I just saw. So thank you for watching. I hope you watch this uh, as well as the link in my comment section. Um, cause I want to I want to see if I uh, want to know what my guides are going to tell me what this is about. Ooh, there's totally a portal open, a gateway. I picked up on it in an earlier read that I did as well. Um, the, the, the shadow card came out, which was basically the sun being eclipsed. But this you could see, they were like, there's like columns all the way to the sun images of these columns all the way to the sun and the sun looks like um it's not round it, it's weird it looks like it's geometric it's it's you have to check it out it's just weird and that tells me that's a gateway they it's uh, the sun's a portal anyway but something shifted something came through yeah ishtar lion's gate man i can't make this up okay this is what's here this is the energy beings you'll see light ships in the sky you'll start we're gonna start seeing more i mean <laughs> we've been seeing a lot as it is unless you're not paying attention and you're gonna get your head under a rock i don't know but i'm not saying that to be rude changes are going on in the sky the lion's gate is what today was a seven seven four Seven, seven, it's the 14th, but it reduces to a, four, a seven. Seventh month, seven, seven. Set three, seven portals. Three, seven gateway today. Whoa. Suggested, and I wanted to know, the. Um, I want to ask, what is the suggested um, hertz, tone, harmonic hertz to listen to? And I will read these cards because these are beautiful. Look at I'm not even waiting. I have my cards like right here. Let me just take these out and then move the box. I'm like, clearly I can't even wait to get into my cards. This is like I can feel it. I've been feeling it all day. But like when I saw that, oh my Lord. Off the charts validates so much for me. Okay, thank you, my guys. Theta, theta, theta. That's the way the, her, uh, the harmonic wave is theta. Go to theta. Nothing else. And it's interesting because I was. I, I did some theta healing today and I was going in that theta state as well. And um, alabaster tablet of the Layla. Perfume of Sophia. That might mean something for somebody. Not sure. Alright. And we have a lion's gate coming up of eight 8, 8, August 8th, and it's 2020, which is 4, which can be done to the second power to make an, an 8. It, 
interested in. I'm so drawn to this card. I'm just going to actually hold this card up. Feel that card. It's incredible. The Lion of Judah right out, right off the top. Like right there. Lion of Judah. The Messiah is here. The Messiah is here. Others are here as well, but the Messiah is here. And where there is dark, there is light. Remember, you are a soul being having a temporary human experience. Don't get distracted by the gifts. And I'm going to absolutely listen to that. Whatever else came through might offer gifts. Be careful of that. Can't trust everything. Okay. Bottom of the deck, the crow. Wow. Ivory wish fulfilling crow. And I've been seeing a crow all week in my backyard. He's just been wandering around. Not even... And I come out, he doesn't fly away. I actually thought his wing was broken until I saw him finally fly today. And I was like, oh, okay. He was just so comfortable in my backyard, just wandering around the backyard, like on my patio and everything. And crows are a huge sign, you know. They're, they fly between realms. And an ivory crow, you know what I'm saying? Ivory crow, that's, that's the white rabbit. The ivory crow is the white rabbit. Where's the book? We got number 44 and 39. And of course, I did not grab my glasses like I wanted to before I started recording. Stand by. Okay. Oh, I hope I can see this. Your heart has heightened connection with the higher realms. Wow, I can't. Hold on. Please stand by. Please stand by. Okay. I want to be able to read this. This is an important message and I don't want to have to stop and restart all over again recording because that's just a lot. I'm already into the energy. Thank you for standing by. Okay. I keep seeing the karma card. So, but you know, karma is here as well. What you put out there, you're going to get back. Okay. Number 44, Ishtar Lion's Gate 888. Your heart has heightened connection with the higher realms of consciousness and light. A blessing, empowerment, and positive omen shall enter your world. Doors will open for you. Abundance and prosperity are headed your way. Take care of your heart. Ask for spiritual assistance, and it shall be granted. Something negative is going to transform into something very positive. Ishtar is the queen of the night, a dark goddess of loss and letting go, but also a priestess of light who holds the keys to renewal from suffering. She is relentless in her pursuit of the path to true inner freedom. Sorry, inner freedom. She willingly surrenders her attachments and her identities even separating herself temporarily from her loved ones, with such boldness and confidence that she crosses into realms where others dare not go. She experiences vulnerability and in that state discovers deep truth. Ishtar is the capacity of the soul to integrate our experiences. After reaching the greatest depths of suffering, she emerges and is reinstated upon her rightful throne with even greater wisdom spiritual power and compassion in a reading she is a guardian in the symbol of resurrection you shall rise again those of you who have felt as though their identity or other marker of security has been torn away from them are her children they will find their way back to peace and prosperity under her ausp um, auspice, uh, auspices if you have been suffering this oracle indicates an end of the struggle is imminent you shall be restored with so much more than you have lost. Ishtar is depicted as the queen of the night, relief that dates back for over 4,000 years. 
Wow, okay, so 400 years ago, this land was changed and taken over. A huge shift happened here in America when the pilgrims came over. It's their 400th anniversary. This is 4,044. Okay, I'm just pointing that out. Um, and we are in Babylon. America is the new Babylon. Okay, so she is the queen of the night relief that dates back over 4,000 years from ancient Babylon, which was located in the lands of present-day southern Iraq. She is a bird woman priestess, and here we go. We got the crow. Okay, so these definitely are connected. This is beautiful. Um, she is a bird woman priestess with talons. Where'd you go? I lost my spot. And wings, flanked by owls and lions. Holy shit. That makes so much sense. She holds sacred tools, a rod and ring in her hand is bejeweled and naked, symbolizing her power and freedom. Her symbols are the gate, the eight-pointed star, and the lion. She is considered the goddess of the planet Venus, but the star of Cyrus is also sacred to her. It rises each year and marks her ascent from the dark realms, which ensures prosperity and good fortune for the year ahead. Her jewels and tools represent her great power and effectiveness. The stars represent her higher consciousness and loving wisdom and are a sign of great blessing for your life, indicating prosperity, peace, healing, and love. Wow. Wow. I completely resonate with this card. Wow. And the bird came up. The crow. I find the crow very protection. And, and the wolf and the wolf staring right at me. I feel very protected. You are very protected. If you know, think when you're watching this, you're protected very much, highly divinely protected. By the way, just so you know, okay. Highly, highly divinely connected, and protected. And then the bear, the mama bear. And that's 396 hertz, which is Metatron's number, the, the Merkaba, I believe, as well. Um, I feel like that, that means more, too. Like, the, it's, it's, I believe it's Gaia's resonance as well. If I'm not mistaken, it might be. But 369 is, is you know, the master key, the, the master number. It all breaks down to threes. It's a gateway. The gateway. Wow, that was, and I'm I'm reading about the gateway that was I saw opened today. I love that. Thank you so much, my guys. I love you so much. Okay, so let's put that away for right now. Now I'm gonna be doing um, um, transmissions from your soul. Is that the name of this deck? No. Uh, the secret language of light. I'm using gonna use the secret language of light. Because we're dealing with light. Enlightenment. And that's what the sun looked like. Similar like that. It was, it, you have to check it out. And then the Merkaba. Soul writing. Do some writing. You're telling me to do it too. And meditate. Connect. That is very real when you meditate. You'd be amazed at where you can go if you're not meditating. For the ones who are, you clearly know. But I'm just like, some people don't meditate. And if they're watching, I really am grateful you're watching. And I hope I'm helping you. You know, because this is a beautiful time. As weird as it is. I'm hearing that Ario Speedwagon song. Keep on running. Gonna keep on running. Something. It's a harmonic shift. I mean, I, we are in weird times, you know. They're slowly taking our rights away, and we can't sit around and let them. However, at the same time, it's a harmonic shift that we are shifting this this realm of existence at the same time. So maybe we, I don't know. I don't know. It's so big sometimes, but we can't. We can't sit back and let them take our, our rights away and stuff. And it, it's, it's just not okay. It's just on any level. We are America. We are free. One, four, 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 as I said that. We are America, and we are free. 
And we are not right now. America needs to heal. We have to take back our power. We have to take back our power here in the States. All over the world, we have to take back our power. I hope you hear me. Archangel Michael warriors out there, star seeds. We have to take back our power and stand in our sovereignty and make this difference here and now. We've been keep we're in this loop and we have to change this loop. These signs in the sky are are like writings on the wall. It, it, it can't get any clearer to me honestly. Like we are something big is going to go on. Like huge. I don't, I, I, you know, the huge, massive scale. Healing. To bring a healing to Gaia. Divine feminine energy is here. Transformation. And she is. Gaia, this, the, everything's shifting over more to the divine feminine, you know, power as well. That balancing out of divine feminine and divine masculine. But, like, this, this divine feminine shifting over. It's been, to, that temple of divine masculine's been far too long. It's now shifting back to the goddesses that, you know, and the de deities that the kings respected. The deities, the goddesses were the ones that ruled. The kings were their king. Just reminding you, if you needed to be reminded. We are going, our planet right now is going through a huge change. Look at that. That's go, what's going on. Guy is showing you. This is what's going on right now. All of that energy go firing off around her. And it's shifting. It's a huge, huge harmonic shift. Huge harmonic shift right now. We are in a stargate. Soul love. Love is the most powerful. It's the only power. It's it, Nothing can beat love. It's the ultimate power. Love. Love is the ultimate power. Nothing is stronger than love. Love transcends. Love is the ultimate power. And this is where you come from is love. My star seeds, you come from this beam of love. You are it. There is no separation. We are connected. We're just more in a denser area, but we are this. You are this, the divine light. This is where we are, more dense energy. It feels more like it's not connected, but you, we're connected. We are connected so much more than we even remember. And we're remembering now. We're, we're, we're remembering. We're getting visuals. We're absolutely getting visuals. Whether in visions, outside the 3D body, within the 3D body as well. Other realms, synchronicities. We see the bigger picture and we're learning to see bigger. And it's a constant evolution. We're not going to hit that spot of thinking we can know everything. No way. It's a constant evolution. Alright, so what's going on with this realm? This, this portal. What realm... <laughs> What realms are here? Like, what realms are we dealing with? I hear Cyrus. Pleiades. The Avians. I don't know if I should take all these. Wow, that's a lot. Loki keeps coming up. And then there's the light, though. I mean, I'll read these. I guess I'll just read these. These came out for a reason. Even though I don't feel like I shuffled them. Two brothers. I keep picking up on two brothers. Two brothers right there. Vili and V. I hope I'm saying that right. I have to learn how to pronounce this properly because I want to totally do these cards justice. Tree of Life. I'm going to let you feel what you get off the cards, too, as well. Look at the growth, the number three there. 
I will read these as well, but just it's good to feel the cards and try to read off of them. That's Loki, trickster energy, and we're in that. We live in this every day on so many levels, multidimensional, totally multidimensional. I feel like this changes the pay, the road, you know, the follow the Albrecht Road, follow the Albrecht Road. The call, Gabriel, like Gabriel's horn, a call has been made, a call is going out. Get the arrow up with the two um, swords in the portal. It's a total gateway. Feel water with that card. Flowy water. Water too is gonna, our water is coming, it's changing in water. We're having earth changes. Arrows going up and down. Native American energy I'm feeling from that as well. This is why does he look like he's getting ready for a war? I mean, I get honing your craft, but this feels very like something we're not seeing yet. Something we're not seeing. All right, it's going to continue to. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Let me look these up. Baldur is light. Baldor is light. He is the son of Odin and Frigg. He is husband to the goddess Nana and father to the god of Foreste. Baldur is a handsome, gracious, and cheerful. He gives off light. His message is to be the light you seek. Feel joy in your heart and allow it to expand out to the world and inward toward yourself. It is from the heart that gratitude, compassion, and forgiveness are born. Because we have Loki here. I actually want to read him. Here's those other two, the brothers that came out. The trickster. And red. Red skies. We're seeing red skies as well. Loki is a giant born of Frabati and Nal. He belongs to the Az Azire, Azire, I hope I'm saying that right. He fathered three beings, the Midgard Serpent, the Wolf Fenrir, and the, he and the Heel, or Hell, with the, um, the Orgris Angraboda, and then married Sigd, S-I-G-Y-N, with whom he had a son, Nari. He is a giant among the gods who live in the illusionary life one minute, he appears as himself the next as a shapeshifter into something else altogether. The Loki card is a direct message about your life and how you are integrating all of who you are into your reality. Loki encourages us to take another look at the illusion and what we are what we are um and what we present versus what is our truth. Very important. The illusions that are around us being created. Okay, let's go. I think this is a rune. Yep. Okay, this is a rune. Spiritual warrior, sacrifice justice. Taiwats represents war. Jesus, didn't I just say that with that card? Uh, justice and law. If you draw this card, you may need to deal with matters of the law and remain unattached to the outcome. Taiwaz indicates that it's time to pick up your sword and cut away the obstacles that are blocking your path. All spiritual warriors understand that sometimes you can only do so much to create the outcome you desire and then you need to leave the rest up to the creator. You may be seeking justice and you will have it, but it may come unexpectedly. This card also calls you to sacrifice a belief system or thought pattern that no longer serves you. Remember the battlefield is in with you in Taiwaz has given you a sword and shield to aid and protect you in the fight. Boom. It sounds like on all levels, personal, spiritual, in the world as well with that card. 
It's a really powerful message. Get, you know, it's that. Be mindful of what we're doing. I'm just trying to find this card here. Give me that card. I'm still new to this book and these cards, so just bear with me. I like these cards. I remember when I came across them, I was really called to them, and then I kind of put them down for a little while. Hemdal was born from nine maidens, all sisters. He is the guardian of the gods. You will find him perched at the end of Asgard on the bridge by Frost. <laughs> okay, he guides the magical pathway between heaven and earth. Hello. Hemdal can see through the nine realms, protecting the realm of Asgard. Hemdal needs little to no sleep. He can hear everything in the natural world, even the grass growing. When he blows his trumpet, Dalahorn, the sound travels through the nine realms. Hemadal's message is a warning. What do you see, hear, and feel that has alerted you? How about the portal in the sun today? Pay attention to what you are feeling right now. Trust your intuition. Listen to your gut and remember Hemdal is here to protect you. Oh my god, that's amazing. Hemdal. Thank you for being here. Okay, and then, um... Let me find this other one. Didn't I see? I should have just done all of these runes at the same time. Here we go. Golden Hall. Golden Hall. You have entered. Oh, I want to say this right. Nadevle. A mysterious land of the dwarfs. Dwarfs are said to live in great halls underground. They are master craftsmen with precious metals and halls made of gold. I'm telling you, this is where every top executive is right now in the side of a mountain. With this cut, everybody that stepped down, the military, the Afro, I'm telling you, they're already headed there because of Nibiru. Um... The master craftsmen with precious metals and halls made of gold. The dwarfs make the sword and tools for the gods. They were the craftsmen who forged Thor's hammer. Jolnir. Drawing this card brings a message that your hard work will be rewarded. You have done your part. You made the grade with integrity and industry. This is a job well done. The dwarfs never sit idle, but work morning till night, creating a place of beauty. It is time for you to receive the benefits of all your efforts. You might receive an unexpected gift. Be grateful for the good fortune that Nadevere brings. I hope I'm saying that right. Anyway, that's a very... Something's going to... Some. If you're struggling, something's going to come through. Not struggling, but if you're waiting on something to come through, it's going to come through. Okay, let's look up these runes. We'll start with this one. Oh, life and death tree. Hiwa represents the vertical axis or the central line of Yggdrasil, the tree of life, a yew tree. In Old Norse mythology, there are many references to the yew tree, and it is no accident the Norse used the wood of the yew to make their bows and arrows. This is pow this powerful rune is an example of the cosmic nature of these symbols bestowed on Odin. Any more earth-based understanding this card offers a powerful connection that protects and helps to connect with your core energy. The vibration at the center of the tree of life flows to all nine realms and is a conduit for the divine. If you draw this card, it's time to appreciate the mysteries of life. Remember, there is joy and happiness when a soul enters this world as a newborn. And at the same time, there is a fantastic journey when we depart the planet in death. Like the axis of Yegg's Drazel, 
Iwa contains the mystery of life and death and shows us the core from which the God came. Tree of Life, Adam and Eve. This rune is a blessing, urging you to reconnect with your core and align with the source. There is no Merkstafa or reverse position. So this is getting connect, getting connected with source. Oh, that's really beautiful. Okay, this one's next. Union. Raid indicates that you are about to begin either a physical or inner journey. Be mindful of your inner balance, which reflects the nature, natural state of equilibrium between heaven and earth. Get in tune with nature's rhythm, which helps you align with your true self. The journey is always about who you are, your authentic self, the union or spiritual trinity of the inner male, female, child. Allow the heartbeat of heaven and earth to become one within your heart. Feel the cosmic waves hold you while you let go and trust, trust, trust and rely on power greater than oneself. Okay, I must have went by this one. Birch tree of life. The rune Jacan represents fertility and rebirth. The birch tree symbolizes the goddess bringer of life. We pass through four stages in life, birth, adolescence, adulthood, and death. This rune requires you to not take your life for granted, but rather to celebrate life on a daily basis. Jarkin is a sign that your projects or endeavors are about to manifest successfully. It is also a sign that if you want to create a family, you are blessed by the goddess. What you build at this time can be success with proper attention to modesty, patience, fairness, and generosity. And a lot of people are going back to farming their own lands, and um, that's, that's a lot of the changes that are going on right now, too. This whole thing with us being, you know, with all that COVID stuff, a lot of people changed their direction. Started seeing it was more going to be it's going to be more community based. Um, it should be anyway. Um, back to that old, not old bother in ways, but something's going to shift financially too for us. They, it is. The whole paper money thing is going to be... It's going to be nil. It, it really... Archangel Uriel. It, it's... It's it's going away. But we don't have to do what they want us to do. It doesn't have to go electronic at all. That's the illusion. We live in so many illusions. It's time to wake up. Okay, What's going on with the portal and the sun with that crop circle? My guides. Gabriel, it's a message. That crop circle is a message, and look it up. If you're interested in the crop circles, look up the recent ones from the past since March to now. It's a very, it's a story. It's very, yep. The world. It's going to go dark. We're going to be a false dark and then a dark dark. It's coming. Trust in the angels. Yep, Raphael is here. She is helping us heal. The four pillars of the earth are here. Well, three of the four, but I mean, Archangel Michael's always. They're all always here. Watch us be Michael, Archangel Michael. <laughs> Absolutely is Archangel Michael. I can't make that up. Four pillars of the earth. And the earth is a center card. And here's Chamuel. Our solar plexus. Our soul. Protector of souls. Wow. The four pillars of the earth are here. Came, they're here anyway, but they came there. They know. They know this portal. Clearly they know this portal was open. Alright, so I'm going to use Mystic Moons. I got her deck. Um, it's kind of dark. And, but I felt when dealing with these beings here on our planet, and yeah, they're beings, man. I, I don't, I, I can't tell you. If you don't see it, I'm sorry. I hope I help you open your eyes to it if you don't see it. More of, of a reality, but, um, 
Where there is dark, there is light, but dark is not welcome here. However, it's important to look at the shadow sides, and I'm protected by the four pillars of the earth and the world. With Chamuel. So, Archangel Michael, what else came through this portal that we have to be mindful of? Innocent, immature, and adventurous. Spirit of the elephant, spirit of the child. And there are some things going on underground with, with children, okay? There's going to be more light spread to that as well. Pegasus is here. Unrealistic delusions. Not all is it seems, okay? Not all is what it seems in this world that they're feeding you out there. Spirit of the sun. Energy, vitality, resurrection is happening. And I was asking about the sun. Spirit of time, illusion, endless waiting. There's going to be, yep, there's like, we're going to see the darkness as well. The light is shedding on the darkness. Spirit of time, illusions. These beings are shapeshifters that are here. They're not really all people that you are dealing with on a daily basis. Okay, spirit of the air. Clarity, awareness, and truth. The truth is coming out. You will, if you don't understand what's going on, you will. You will understand what you're truly living in. Shapeshifters. Uh, all shapes and sizes. The in, They're in the in-between. The in-between on television, in the sky, everywhere. They are in the in-between. It's not going to be one of those right in your face. Maybe sometimes it is, but that clarity is coming in more and more. Spirit of the werewolf, wild, untamed desire. Okay, got some stuff coming our way. You know, if the if the BIB is LE, talks about the three days of darkness. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I'm thinking of with this portal. You know, because I got I. I believe in that. I do. I do really feel that spirit of the cross. That's you know, and I have to. I'm preparing spiritually. Here's the angels right here. Angels are here. Masquerades are going on. Masquerades are happening and going on. <sighs> spirit of the mermaids. Beauty untamed. Spirit of the mermaid goes to the waters for me as well. The moon, the dog, spirit of the dog, friendship, companion, underlying loyalty. Faith, unity, and wholeness. Spirit of the black rose, tragic romance. Fated meeting, soulmate, divine counterpart, spirit of connections. And spirit of the cat, fanciful, curious, independent, walking tightrope, enchanted, feminine spirit, and the fly. So, I don't know, some things, people are releasing a lot of things that are actually decaying from their life. Then again, I don't know what else could come through this portal. I can, I'm not going to go there. I have an idea and I can bring it. I can, and I don't want to, that's not the space I want to be in nor what I want to stay in. I'm all about the angelic love and light. I will trust the divine. I trust. My faith is strong. It's beyond faith. It's a knowing. It's a knowing. It's a knowing I'm connected to something way more divine than this right here. And it brings me peace. Spirit of the ring. Contract, promise, and commitment. And this is for the twins out there. That is here. That is here for you. For us. We've done this six times. This has got to work. With the four angels. I'm going to put these cards away. But Spirit of the Ring. The twin. The contract. The pentacle. The green, You know, before we came here. 
we know we belong. I mean, it just is. It just is. It just, it just is. But clearly it's been an issue because it's taken six times to get the unions right, I guess, or connected or whatever the word is. Because I don't want to take away from the high vibration it really is because it's a high vibration. High, high vibrational connect connection. Someone is going through a dark night of the soul. I'm going to use Mystic Moon's, um, her, her uh, oracles as well. I want to see how they fit into this reading, um, as well with the four angels in the world and the sun and the portal with the planets around us guide. Okay. I want to see where this brings me. There's a siren. Guide. Okay. What kind of guide? Angelic. Clearly there's four angels, five angels here. What's coming through this portal that they opened up today? What were those pillars? What, I don't even know if you have a card for that in this, but I'm going to try like heck. What were those pillars that I saw? That, like It was like a circle and then like um, pushed in and then like this and then like that and then like this and then come out. It, it w wasn't a complete circle. You could tell it was um, it wasn't organic. I don't know. I don't even have, please just check out the sun. That, that, I can't even, I, I, oh my God, I can't even find the words. I don't know what the heck's going on, but patience. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, patience. You know what I didn't read was the ivory white crow. I just got drawn back to that. So I'm going to do that card. The ivory white crow. And I'll tell you, crime is going to amp up. I'm not trying to be negative. Just keep yourself safe. 422, as I, two, as I said that. Keep yourself safe. You can have what you truly want. Such an oil would help soften and, if, and release fear, grasping control and doubt. Have confidence that the universe hears your prayers and is even now leading you into that of what you seek. You can take, take sanctuary within your spiritual connection whenever you need stabilization and protection against the, inf the flux fluctuations of the external world. No matter what is happening around you, there is a way through to fulfillment of your potential. The Hindu sage who assumes the form of a crow and lives atop a magical wish-fulfilling tree, thriving, whether there be feast or famine in the world, as a highly evolved supernatural being. He has outlived the ending of numerous world ages. No calamity or cataclysm can shake the powerful divine tree of the creator, creatures who live within this within its shelter. The sacred tree is a place of sanctuary and protection, where no harm can befall any of its inhibition in, inhabitants. The wish-fulfilling tree is a spiritual symbol for the soul, the heart, and the divine bohistavas, or enlightening sages, who guide and protect humanity. It represents a high level of consciousness which is abundant and in harmony with the universe, and therefore blissful, free, and generous. This oracle reminds you that as you align with spirit, you are aligning with a powerful field of grace which has protective and strengthening qualities. It is a spiritual tonic with effect in all dimensions and all realms of existence. The price for such sacred empowerment is the surrender of one's ego. This is a lifelong journey for most of us rather than one time event. We recondition our mind in the ways of spirit again and again. We disentangle our hearts from society conditioning based in fear, dominance, greed, and victimization of getting one's personal desires met at any cost. We recognize there is a powerful difference between taking and receiving. We trust in what is destined for us. 
The stories abound in the Hindu tradition of various wish-fulfilling manifestations, from the goddess to trees to, to cows and gems. When someone sought to possess the wish-fulfilling treasure for their own personal use, they would always be thwart. thwart. Doesn't, you can't have any personal gain here. The highest spiritual intelligence of love, which cannot be controlled or manipulated but remain as is. It's pure, generous giving and is needed to, to the receptive heart. Ivory is an organic material like bone which makes up the tusks and teeth of numerous animals of land and sea. Tusks are used to brush away vegetation and obstacles to help an animal move through its environment. Therefore, one metaphysical correspondence of ivory is the ability to move through even inhospitable environments successfully. The message of the ivory wish fulfilling crow is that one does not have to dominate or manipulate others to attain success. It is enough to align with spirit and trust that your sacred inner work is sufficient to attract whatever is needed to manifest your higher purpose. You can attain what you seek by becoming and radiating. You can, I'm going to read that again. You can attain what you seek by becoming and radiating rather than through con contriving or manipulating. It's powerful. There's more, but I'm going to end there with that one. That's that's powerful. All right. I'm going to actually, I'm getting tired from this read. I want to close this reading. What guidance can you give us with this portal open? I'm going to use my um, star seed cards. What guidance can you give us with these portals that are opening? Double mission, light work of star seeds. Serve the world by being you. You are a star seed. Activated earth, power, place, ley lines. Trust where you are led. Some of us may be moving as well. Trust where you are led to go. Longing for home, homesick for the stars. Absolutely. They are here. Our guides are here. Our ancestors are really here. This is way big. The new earth is happening. And it is. The new earth is happening. Depends on how you're looking at it. And what you're waking up to. A whale and an orca elder. Share your song frequency of sound and dive in deep. <coughs> Excuse me. We are in a harmonic shift. It's very Lemurian, um, Atlantean feeling to me. Very much so. Okay, uh, Spirit, what suggestions can you, what more? I mean, harmonic shifts stay in high frequency. Don't get distracted by the damn side show of the news and all this other crap. And it's important because we don't want people taking our rights away. But if we keep shifting the harmonic shift, it, they won't be, if that makes any sense. They won't be because we're bringing that in. For I'm trying to explain this more, I just want you to look at and feel that card. I'll read that as well. I just want to love. It's the ultimate, ultimate power. Love. I have. I feel Lyran energy here as well. Star seed. You are a star seed, and you are shifting. Your frequency is shifting. You're awakening. Music helps you. It's that harmonic shift. Music it's shifting you. It's bringing in knowledge one way, shape, form, or the other. You are the music I'm hearing. You, you are the music. You are the shift. You are the song. That's actually beautiful. You are the song. We are the song. Divinity, take flight. We must stay in the divine light to bloom. Wow, that's beautiful. Seven. It's an 11. That's a divine union, divineness with oneself, starseed tribe. 
very much starseed tribe. 42, which is a six, which is a connection as well. It's a divine connection. Especially if, if you're from the same um, star home, if you will. You're being activated. We all are right now. <laughs> and we're taking, we're, we're digging. I don't know about you, but I'm like diving in and diving in more on whatever spiritually I am anciently I'm picking up on from the Anunnaki, Sumerians. I have bought so many books on ancient Sumerian kings, Inki, Enlil, Isis, Osiris. They came to me. Um, Odin, I got those cards because I was being drawn to o Odin in the Nine Realms and Thor and Freya. And it's just been all, it's like, cool. And then I know I was, um, lived, I was, lived in Atlantis or Lemuria in another life. I know it. I know it. My mother and I both came in. We came from Atlantis as well in a lifetime, you know, so... There is so much more that we're supposed to remember that we were born through here, our mother's portal, under the biggest spell that we forgot who we are. We forgot. They have a spell. They've been, so with that spell's breaking. Father God is here. The, the love is the ultimate power to break the spell. In your love for creator of all that is, and knowing that you are the divine spark, you are the divine light. You are the God. You have God DNA in you. That's not, it's not an illusion. You have God DNA in you and it is waking up. We have more uh, brain power firing off, um, neurons, electrons firing off in our brain because Nibiru is here and it's magnetic. We are magnetic. We have neurons in, in, in our brain. Magne magnetic sets it off. It is waking us up. It is. It's it's music to our ears, I'm hearing. This is not here to hurt us. Nibiru is not here to harm us or hurt us. It is here to help us and free us. It's here to free us. Nibiru is here to free us. They want us to believe it's here to ruin us. It's not. Not us, no. I don't know how that works, but it's not here. It's, it's here, the crumbling. It's here to bring the crumbling from what does no longer sit at that harmonic frequency anymore. Okay? Lemuria, as I was just speaking of that earlier. It's bringing that heaven to earth template here. And it is. We're awakening. I can't make this up. Double awakening cards. We are awakening. We are ascending. We are getting downloads. The Council of Light is really here. There's the downloads. Okay, they are waking us up. Sisterhood of the Rose is very real. There's the, um, oh crap, is it the Nine Sisters of the Osiris Orion's Belt? I want to say it's the Nine Sisters or the Three Sisters. Crap. I'm sorry, I do know this. I'm having a brain fart right now. Anyway, um, Sisterhood of the Rose, that is the count in the Council of Light. I mean, come on. Anna, grandmother of Jesus is here. Higher beings are here. Trust the niggle. Trust what's you're feeling. Even if it doesn't feel good, trust that and walk away from whatever does not feel you or feel right to you. Put your boundaries up. And in this these these energies are coming through. The Pleiades are here. Pleiadians are here. The Council of Light is here. They came through the portal. Okay. 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 Trust your path. Trust your path. Okay. I'm going to wrap this reading up. Um, thank you for watching. If you watch this long, I'm really grateful for that. Um, this I love it. This is important. We are in such an amazing... I can't, I don't know, time, space, I, I can't even put it into words anymore. Shift, there's a word, shift. We are in such an amazing shift right now. And if you watched it all the way through, you are definitely feeling it too. And I thank you for that. I'm, gra I'm glad that you are too, because it can feel, well, you know, like 
you're going crazy sometimes and you're not. You're not. That's why they wanted to separate us. So that when this happened, they don't want another, they don't want us coming together. They don't. The higher beings, there's another, there comes another phase that's coming to keep us apart, and it is. So we have to be ready somehow, way, shape, or form. Anyway, you are the divine light. You are the divine spark. There is no separation. You have God DNA in you. You are the divine, all right? Peace, love, and light. Thank you for watching.